New details tonight on the murder of this Marine who deputies say was beaten and run over in May. And now there is a reward for information. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. Mike, you have details ahead of a news conference tomorrow, right? Yeah, Susie, so at that news conference tomorrow, the victim's family as well as city leaders are going to be speaking and again announcing a $20,000 reward with anyone leading with information leading to an arrest in this. I want to show you his photo, though. This is the 42-year-old Marine Peter Chantala that was killed. Now, uh, deputies say that back on May 28th, around 2 in the morning, he was assaulted by several men near the area of Virginia and Artesia Boulevard in the city of Bellflower. After he collapsed, that's when they say a passing motorist then hit him. This is the car that they think was the, driven by that passing motorist. Uh, sheriff's deputies say that both the group that allegedly assaulted him and the driver that allegedly hit him, everybody took off from the scene after this. And again, he is an, uh, an active duty Marine. Apparently, he's part of the Wounded Warrior Project. He's got a three-year-old boy. He's a husband as well. Uh, now, tonight, they say they want to find the person who did this and the group of people that did this because, again, they're looking for not only the people that allegedly assaulted him, but they're looking for the driver that hit them, hit him rather, and then took off. Again, tomorrow there's going to be a press conference where the mayor of Bellflower will speak, as well as family members. They'll also offer that $20,000 reward, as I mentioned. Guys? Mike, thank you so much.